Hello and a very warm welcome. When I was asked to choose um, a favourite song to talk about, I thought well, that's going to be difficult because there are so many wonderful songs out there at the moment which I enjoy and have been very helpful to me. Um, so uh, I had to think about it quite hard really. For me, songs have a season. I believe God gives certain songs to the church for particular times or purposes that are relevant to where we're at and to what he is doing. So my favourite songs change quite often and always tend to be one of the newer ones. The one I've chosen, You Reign Above It All by the McClure's, is really quite simple, but it has a profound focus on Jesus, uh, one that is so needed in a time like this. I came across this song at the beginning of the lockdown and it has stuck with me as my go-to song. I first heard it sung live and acoustic with harmonising voices and violins and a cello as part of some online worship I was watching. As I listened, I found myself joining in and I became more and more aware of the presence of Jesus and the fact that he reigns over all and I was lifted into a time of worship. The song has stayed very relevant to me during this pand pandemic. It reminds me that Jesus is on the throne. No matter how dark things may get, the reign of darkness in my life has ended and I now live in his kingdom of light. Things in this world can sometimes be dark, dreadful and awful. But through Jesus, I belong in a different world, the kingdom of heaven, where he rules and his promises don't change and can never be shaken. The reign of darkness now has ended in the kingdom of light, forever under your dominion. You're the king of my life. The culture we have in the UK is a complex thing, but it's very focused on the me and me having a good time, being well fed, housed, clothed, healthy and entertained. We see these things as our right and there's nothing wrong with them in themselves. But this pandemic, um, more than anything else for a long time, has shown us how fragile this culture really is. Sitting in Norwich City Centre with a takeaway coffee last week, I was aware of the oppression of the pandemic. Far less people were about and almost no older folk. And those who had ventured out looked troubled, hard pressed, heavy hearted. The usual relaxed shopping, socialising, drinking and eating were all gone. The shops were almost deserted and it felt very sad. Well, life will get back to normal at some point, but what the world offers has been shaken. This song re reminds us that there is an alternative culture to be part of, the culture of heaven, which is constant and unchanging because it focuses on Jesus and his goodness, always offering peace, joy, love, light where there was darkness, and promises of provision and protection. These are free gifts which come with membership of his kingdom, because as the words of the song says, on the cross the work was finished. God, you poured out your life just to give us new life. I love the song's chorus. It's easily learnt and expresses exactly what I need to say and think when the problems of the world seem to be crowding in. That Jesus is the everlasting one and that he reigns above it all. Let all of heaven and earth erupt in song. Sing hallelujah to the everlasting one. There is no higher name. Jesus, you reign above it all. Just one of Jesus' promises, Matthew 6, 33, 
says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. I hope you'll have a listen to this song and hope you'll enjoy it. I hope you have a really great day. Cheerio for now.